I'm happy to announce that UAS Master version 9.0 has been released. What this means for you as the TVC user is that if you hold the aerial photogrammetry module and are current with its warranty, you'll be able to use the check for updates routine within TVC and you'll find that UAS Master version 9.0 is available for download and installation. This quick video will go over some of the major enhancements to version 9.0 and how that relates to your TVC workflows. So without further ado, happy to, to see that there's new, new project setup enhancements where you can import images to read camera and EXIF information automatically. Um, what this means is that uh, if your images contain um, camera and um, uh, EXIF information, you wouldn't necessarily have to input that data manually. Um, as in previous releases, UAS Master 9.0 will read that and get you started setting up your project even faster now. This also allows for the optional import of processed GNSS and IME trajectory data as well. So cumulatively with UAS Master 9.0 and past enhancements, we've now gotten to the most efficient project setup um, along with these uh, initial uh, setups, saving processing strategies, and also being able to use batch processing allows for uh, efficient project setup and processing. The largest enhancement to UAS Master 9.0 has been the addition of 3D georeferencing and dense point cloud reconstruction. So what this means is that you can now support multiple UAS platforms from fixed wing nadir, multi-copter oblique, and also even handheld imagery if you've got it. This opens up a bunch of new applications such as cloud reconstruction, infrastructure inspection, construction as built and vertical wall monitoring, just to name a few. Along with the uh, new enhancements is the dense point cloud reconstruction. This can uh, create a point cloud from any UAS platform with a single image resolution supported up to 100 megapixel and an entire project size uh, uh, cumulative total of all the images up to 300 gigapixels. Yes, there is such a thing as a gigapixel. This also supports arbitrary flight paths as well. So what this means on in our integration with your TBC workflows. So you can do your processing either in UAS Master Standalone or within TBC Photogrammetry. Now with all of these new options that we have with uh, UAS Master version 9.0. Process in UAS Master, drop down in the project, go to Send To, uh, Send to Trimble Business Center, and that unlocks your data into all of the uh, workflows that you know and love in TVC, such as Earthworks, Facade, Terrain Models, Corridor Design, topographic mapping, and infrastructure inspection, just to name a few. So let's dive into the data set here real quick, and I can show you a little bit more about this. If I'm the first, then I welcome you and introduce you to UAS Master version 9.0. Here in the uh, process data set, you can see if we move around, we've got two primarily circular patterns of data collection uh, on this site. There's a uh, old structure here with some um, agricultural fields, uh, vegetation surrounding it, some pathways as well. Um, get a little bit more information as to what was going on in this project. You can go into the edit and this is the setup um, that at the first enhancement that I talked about setting up the UAS project editor. You see there's 72 photos with a single camera sensor. Double click on that. You can see here um, the, the uh, UAV was from our friends at SenseFly. 14 points, uh, control points, GCP points, what have you, with 76 different images taken. 
getting this all processed up. If you want more information on how to actually do that in UAS Master, uh, check out what the info team and the UAS Master team have online, their YouTube channel or their support channels as well. Great documentation, great tutorial uh, information on UAS Master and all of the new functionalities within UAS Master 9.0. What we are interested in now is getting this UAS Master data, whether it's from a fixed wing, whether it's from a quadcopter, whatever that is, getting that data into TBC into our usable form so we can pick up on our tried and true and tested TBC workflows. And to do that, head up into Project, Send To. The densely reconstructed point cloud here is supported via point clouds and ground control points. So I can send point cloud information and GCPs over into TBC. I'll have both of those selected here. And I'll say Next. It does some processing. This is in real time. I haven't sped anything up. When the processing and the Send to TBC process is complete, TBC will either launch if you don't have an instance open, or TBC will launch the process view, which will let you know that you've got some actions you want to be able to import both the GCPs in a known coordinate system that TBC will also read, and the point cloud information. So let's look at this in TBC now. All right, welcome to TBC. We see the data here. All 14 of our points are here as we would expect under the Project Explorer in points. And then the point cloud is here as well. Uh, it will come in as a single region. I did take the liberty to auto-classify based on some buildings, grounds, high vegetation, poles and signs, and then I made a custom retaining wall region as well. What this allows me to do is to further view the data a little bit differently based on the classification of these regions. So beginning those TBC workflows off, working and managing point cloud data uh, into TBC and, and largely using the TBC scanning module, um, potentially in addition to the aerial photogrammetry module, is a very, very viable uh, workflow of dealing and managing all of this data. So you can see here in the that we've got the building. The brown here is ground. The purple is that retaining wall. And the green is the high vegetation. I've also taken the time. I'll turn my points off and turn my scan data off eventually here to create an original ground surface. So here you can see the building's kind of built in here at the end. There's the retaining wall, slightly sloped back of course. See some pathway as well. So with this surface I could then extract additional geometry, I could make uh, pathway uh, CAD line work, 3D or 2D. If I was looking to, to throw this into a plan set, I would be maybe only interested in the 2D deliverables. But this is the data from UAS Master leveraging the new technology in version 9.0 into TBC, just as how uh, you've been working with it all along. So the link between TBC and UAS Master still exists, but now is made even more powerful by the new enhancements and functionality of UAS Master version 9.0.